Welcome to France. France is the world's most attractive travel destination, one of the oldest nations in the world, and an ethnically diverse country in Europe. The romantic chateaus, sophisticated culture, picturesque countryside, exquisite cuisine and fine wine of this Western European country draw many tourists annually. Each corner of this six-sided shaped country consists unique characteristics, including the storybook hamlets scattered landscapes, vine-covered rolling hills spreading the pastoral region, splendid and outdoorsy French Alps, gorgeous Côte d'Azur coastline, glamorous Provence, vibrant French cities, and idyllic Alsace. And also, each part of the country provides versatile travel experiences. The list of the best places in this glamorous country is endless. So join us. This is Scenic Hunter's truly magical journey to find the 20 best places to visit in France. Number 20. The Pont du Gard. You can visit plenty of superb Roman sites in southern France, but the UNESCO World Heritage Site named Pont du Gard is always at top of the list. It is an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge, was built to carry 20,000 cubic meters of water over 50 kilometers per day in the 1st century AD. It is considered the highest bridge of all Roman aqueduct bridges. This special historical monument has been an attractive tourist destination for centuries, and today it is one of France's top tourist destinations, with over 1.4 million visitors annually. Number 19. Bordeaux. Bordeaux, the capital of the Chouron department in southwest France's Aquitaine area. Grandiose castles rule over gently undulating hills covered in vines in the Bordeaux region, a lovely rural area of France. Picturesque walkways cross the region alongside the Garonne River and its tranquil canals. Many visitors favor doing leisurely bicycle tours of this region. More than 350 historic buildings and landmarks can be found in Bordeaux's pedestrian zone, including medieval cathedrals, a Roman amphitheater, and attractive ancient bridges. The city also has several lovely plazas, the most remarkable of which is the Place de la Bourse, with its mirror-like appearance. You can find two outstanding UNESCO World Heritage Sites in saint Emilion a small country village 51 kilometers outside of Bordeaux, and the magnificent city of Bordeaux, both of which have more than 350 structures designated as historical monuments. A trip to Bordeaux would only be complete with driving through the nearby wine country, where visitors may amaze by breathtaking landscapes, charming villages, vineyards, and chateaus. In conjunction with the Festival of the River, the city holds its magnificent festival of wine in June. The city's waterfront quays offer nightclubs and pubs for nightlife. Number 18, June du Pila. If you are a nature lover there is no doubt you will love to experience stunning 360-degree views from the highest point of Dune du Pila. This iconic site is located in La Teste de Bouc in Arcachon Bay in France. More than one million tourists visit every year to walk along the sparkling Atlantic Ocean, 
deep green pine forest, and 2.7 kilometers long ridge. It is a great place to have fun with some outdoor sports. There are five amazing campsites, so the sand dune is famous among campers. Number 17, Marseille. Marseille, the second largest city in France and one of the oldest towns in Europe, is a significant Mediterranean seaport off the southeast coast of France. Marseille is a thriving city with various institutions and companies. It also boasts a beautiful climate, Roman remains, medieval architecture, and prestigious cultural venues. Vieux-Port, Marseille's old port, is where everything happens. This bustling harbour is dominated by two medieval forts and is surrounded by riverfront cafes, boutiques, and bars. Visitors can enjoy the view of luxury yachts, ferry boats, and fishermen auctioning off their catch at the daily fish market at the Quai de Belges, which is located at the end of the port. The Calarque are a collection of little inlets with awe-inspiringly blue water and beautiful limestone cliffs, and they are one of Marseille's outstanding natural attractions. Marseille is a thriving regional center of arts and culture with several museums, art galleries, and landmark structures. Many opera houses and theaters are also located in the city. Number 16, the Chateaus of the Loire Valley. Loire Valley is 280 kilometers long valley, stretching from souly sur loire to chalon sur loire in Anjou, listed as one of the largest UNESCO sites in the world. Majestic castles are scattered over the densely forested Loire Valley remained you a beautiful background of a fairy tale. This incredible cultural heritage site was built by the kings of France during the 15th and 16th centuries, to enjoy this scenic environment. The number of chateaus of the Loire Valley exceeds 300 and many of the chateaus were built on hilltops and one and only chateaus de Montero was built in the riverbed.
Number 15, Burgundy. The Burgundy region boasts picturesque scenery of green meadows, rolling hills, and majestic structures. Ancient villages, fascinating medieval abbeys, and Romanesque chapels are a testament to the region's rich cultural past. The charming medieval town of Beaune, the historic city of Dijon with its aristocratic palaces, ornate Gothic churches, excellent museums, and the monumental Abbey of Cluny. It was the largest church in Christendom until the 16th century when St. Peter's Basilica was built in Rome and the Burgundy region is among its top attractions. In addition to its fascinating history, Burgundy is well known for its cuisine. Number 14, Rocamadour. Rocamadour, the sacred hilltop village is situated in the Lot department, far north of France's Occitanie region. This gorgeous village is listed as the second most attractive tourist destination in France. Beautiful houses and historical churches seem to be part of the hill. Historical monuments, cliffs, and towers are scattered over the stunning Alzu Canyon. You can walk through 216 stairs of the main staircase to the eight churches square. Notre Dame Chapel or Miracles Chapel is the most special place here, which consists of a statue of the Black Virgin dating back to the 12th century. The religious background, sacred art, and unspoiled environment of Rocamadour undoubtedly refresh your mind and soul. Number 13, Gorges du Verdun. The Verdun Gorge, or Gorges du Verdun, is about 25 kilometers long and a 700 meters deep river canyon located in the Provence Alps, Côte d'Azur region of southeastern France. This turquoise green river canyon was formed by the Verdun River. At the end of this beautiful canyon, the Verdun River is flowing into the Lake of Saint Croix. This stunning destination is very popular with tourists who like rock climbing, hiking as well as among tourists who can drive around on the river. If you are an adventurous traveler this truly breathtaking place can recommend as a must-visit site.
Number 12. Annecy. Annecy is a scenic alpine town in southeastern France, located where the Lake Annecy feed into the Chu River and overlooks majestic snow-capped mountains. The pristine Lac d'Annecy is one of the largest lakes in France and the cleanest lake in Europe. Annecy has plenty of options to experience water sports, including paddleboarding, scuba diving and sailing. And also you can find dozens of sandy and grassy beaches dotted along the picturesque lake. So you can refresh and experience the glamorous views while swimming in the crystal clear water of the lake. Number 11. Alsace. Alsace is the northeastern French region which borders Germany and Switzerland. The region is full of colorful half-timbered villages, fairy tale fortresses, vineyard blanketed landscapes, picturesque small towns, romantic canals and make it one of the prettiest destinations in Europe. Strasbourg is the capital city of Alsace. Alsatian culture is a perfect blend of Germanic and French characteristics. The region lies on the west bank of the Rhine River, between the Vosges and the Rhine. Alsace wine is famous all over the world and wine production is one of the main activities in the region. Its steep and thickly wooded mountains provide plenty of opportunities for hiking, rambling and other outdoor activities. Number 10, Luberon. The Luberon is the place to go if you want to mix with the common folk of Southern French society. It serves as a retreat for French society and summer visitors from the United States and the United Kingdom who want to see attractive villages. Since the publication of Peter Mayle's books about living in Provence, this area of central Provence has become a popular tourist destination. You'll quickly understand why Luberon is such a popular tourist destination with its beautiful woodlands, lavender farms, farmers markets, and brightly painted homes. Pottery from a Pied Le Vieux, which still has a feel of the Middle Ages, makes a wonderful souvenir.
Number 9. Corsica. Corsica truly deserves the moniker, Island of Beauty, living up to it with its breathtaking coastline beauty, vast stretches of unspoiled forests, and towering snow-capped mountains. You can find attractive port cities along the coast and quaint villages dot the slopes. There are a ton of things to do in Corsica. Beach lovers, hikers, and fans of outdoor activities will find it to be a delight. The island has some of Europe's most breathtakingly untamed landscapes. Its 1,000 kilometers of shoreline features transparent waters ideal for scuba diving and snorkeling. Despite being a part of France since 1769, Corsica has its own unique culture. Donkeys still populate the countryside, the music is distinctive, and the cuisine offers specialties like strong, spicy cheeses, chestnut polenta, and chestnut biscuits. Number 8. Valensole. Valensole is a pretty Provencal town that sits on a hill overlooking a lavender valley and is a must-see on a south of France trip. The town sits at the heart of the plateau of Valensole and is the capital of the lavender region. Everyone loves to feel the beauty of heavenly scented endless lavender fields every summer. These beautiful flowers can be found almost everywhere and make one of the most beautiful scenic landscapes during summer. If you are interested in a day trip the fields are open on Sundays during summer times. Other than that you can wander the maze of charming streets, take photos of the wrought iron balconies, painted shutters, and ancient doorways. Number 7. Etretat. On the Côte d'Alberta of Normandy in northern France, the coastal town of Etretat lies tucked beneath a set of white limestone cliffs. The cliffs rise 90 meters above the ground. The expansive views may be seen from the cliff-top viewpoint and are breathtaking. You will be surprised to imagine that you're on the very edge of the English Channel when you're looking out onto chalky cliffs overlooking a clear blue sea. After all, the weather is pleasant and sunny, and the atmosphere is festive. You can't go wrong by putting aside at least a day or two to explore this gorgeous area in northern France. The area is a veritable gold mine of cultural heritage, famous for William the Conqueror, the Bayeux Tapestry, and Giverny. Camping is a must if you plan to spend several days exploring in the summer or fall. In the summer, Sunbathers enjoy Etretat's beaches. You can enjoy the trip by discovering the cliffs of Etretat and hidden gems, visiting the upper gardens, coastal walking, and chapel. Etretat Beach and Town Center are some of the best things you can do in the Etretat.
Number 6 Dordogne You will only be able to see what you want to see in the picturesque Dordogne region of southern France if you have weeks or months to spare. Starting with picture postcard villages and chateaus, such as the impressively preserved Chateau de Bainac, there is much to see and do here. The Dordogne River runs through the countryside, which is also quite stunning. The best prehistoric cave art in France is found in the Dordogne. Animals dominate the murals at Lascaux. Sadly, they are no longer open to the public, but a replica is worth visiting. Number 5, Chamonix. Chamonix is one of the very popular and oldest ski resorts. Because of its elevation, this beautiful area has a humid continental climate with over 1,280 mm of average annual precipitation and has very cold and snowy waters. So the site is most ideal for winter sports and Mont Blanc attracts mountain climbers as well as Chamonix has three separate ski areas for ski lovers. This stunning snowy area has one of the highest cable cars in the world and recorded its height as 3,842 meters. It is still identified as one of the world's highest vertical ascent cable car. Number 4, Mont Blanc. You can find some of the world's most breathtaking natural vistas in the French Alps. The picturesque Mont Blanc, a famous snow-capped summit that rises to 4,810 meters, is one of the tallest mountains in Europe. You can breathe clean air at this elevation, and the scenery is breathtaking, featuring glistening lakes, thunderous waterfalls, serene valleys, and revitalizing pine forests visitors like Alps in the summer to go hiking, biking, and mountain climbing. The French Alps are a popular winter destination for those who enjoy cross-country skiing, snowboarding, and alpine skiing. The region is home to many of France's best ski resorts. Additional winter activities include ice skating, dog sledding excursions, and vintage horse-drawn sleigh rides. The region's small towns provide the most soothing vacation experience at luxurious resort hotels and indulgent thermal spas for visitors seeking a refreshing retreat. Number 3 Mont Saint Michel Normandy. Mont Saint Michel is a small tidal island located near the mouth of the Quenel River, about one kilometer off the northwestern coast. Its surrounding bay was listed as a World Heritage Site 
and the buildings are protected as historical monuments. This amazing site is visited by over 3 million tourists annually. The island is just a few minutes away from land accessible at low tide. When the tide is low you can walk barefoot through this stunning natural architecture ensemble. Please keep remembering to get support from a travel guide or even be aware of the tide. Number 2. Côte d'Azia Côte d'Azia is a famous cultural region which located in the southeastern corner of France. It is also famous as the French Riviera. Côte d'Azia is one of the glamorous stretches of Mediterranean coastline. Côte d'Azia's translation is Coast of Blue and named for its deep azure blue water. This gorgeous portion of the Mediterranean coastline spreads from San Trope to Mentown, nearly 30 kilometers from the border with Italy. Thanks to its year-round sunny weather it is a perfect travel destination. Normally spring and autumn bring milder weather and most relaxing atmosphere to this fashionable seaside destination. As well as, the skies are often mesmerizing. Number 1 Paris The enchanting France's capital city Paris is located in the north-central part of the country. This beautiful city is located along the Seine River. The beautiful city of Paris is jammed full of historical world-class memorials including Notre Dame, the Louvre, Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, Sacré-Cœur, and etc. Over 6 million people visit the magical Eiffel Tower yearly, Vibrant evening sun rays, twinkling lights of Paris, with flute music and a glass of wine or champagne will take you to heaven. We do hope you enjoyed our journey to the world's most popular tourist destination. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Visit scenichunter.com for more details. Don't forget to subscribe to The Scenic Hunter for another exciting adventurous journey, until then it's goodbye from us.